Hello everybody, Jeanette here and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, you're visiting the Neal's Homestead. Someone has given us a deer and we are going to grind that up today. We cut it up a few days ago and I've been soaking it in salt water for since that time to get some of the blood and any kind of distasteful things out of it soaked into the water and we drained that off we're rinsing it again i'm using an lem grinder it's a number eight and it has a third horsepower motor on it and i'm going to show you how we use that so thanks for joining me we store the grinder in the box that it came in it's set up really nice to just keep it that way let's open it up and get it out this is what it looks like when you open the box it's got this styrofoam container in here with all these different compartments and here I have the blade and three different size discs along with the uh, nut that holds that all together. Here's where the part that houses the grinder part, the, the screw part. Uh, it comes with two different uh, sausage stuffers and then this is the pusher bigger on one side than the other and that's where you push the meat down in through this part right here. Underneath that we have the main grinder unit. Old guy's helping me get it out. This is pretty heavy. And we set that up on our counter with it facing this way because this is the sink right here and it's just easier to have the sink here to hold a bowl and to be able to work around. On top of that goes a little tray that is, I'm not ready to put it on yet, but that's how it fits on there because I need to put my uh, grinding mechanism on there first. You take this uh, part that houses the the grind or auger and put it in there push it back as far as you can and then it has a screw that tightens down to hold it in place we already have the auger inside there this part is called the knife or you could call it the blade it fits right over the end of that and it's a square right back here so you have to turn it till it's on right. These are called grinder plates. This is the actually the one if you look at the three of them it's the one with the middle size hold but it's the large grinding plate. It has a little notch at the bottom and so that notch needs to go bottom and fit into that little place right there and then it won't turn around on its own. It'll stay in that locked in position. Here's something that I want to share with you that is a little bit unfortunate about this, but I have had trouble with this single blade not going back far enough and staying up against the, the knife behind it. And so I have taken to putting a second blade in, the bigger blade, and then putting this nut on that holds it in place and it holds that first disc on much better tighter and I don't have it trouble as much with it stopping up especially with the sinew that's what tends to stop it up is the sinew and, and you know that deer is quite sinewy now I'm able to put the tray on the top and you have to put it in the hole first and then it, this part just sits down on top of the handle. It rests there. Clamps on a little bit but mostly it just rests there. And then you can put your meat up here and feed it as you need down into the hole. As I said, we've had the meat in this big cooler for two days or so, I think, soaking in the salt water. We drained the salt water and put some extra clean water in there and then drained most of it, but not all of it has drained out. So what we're going to do is take this meat out and put it into this big bowl. Now, some people would keep the loin separately, and that's 
perfectly good idea but I feel like for us we might uh, we like to just go ahead and grind the lo loin it makes really good ground meat so we're going to get a bowl of this and take it into the house and I'm going to give it another quick rinse we're going to just dump it into the sink where I can have good access rinse that bowl out and put the meat in it afterward I took out a big slab of meat here that I had done and what I like to do is trim off all the fat I don't I don't like deer fat it's really thick and heavy and greasy <laughs> but I don't like the feeling of it in my mouth afterward and I don't want sinew either because sinew stops up my grinder and I just it's distasteful to me so I have to trim off all of this film stuff that's on on the meat and it takes a while and but I have learned over the years that if you do it it's worth it don't think that it's okay just to leave some sinew on there and that you will get along okay because I'm going I'm here to tell you you won't <laughs> now inside here is especially thick strong sinew uh, a deer is just made up of sinew it's because they're so agile and jump you know their muscles work so well that if they just have a lot of sinew to hold it all together so to trim it I just typically will get my knife under the edge of it hold it up by my fingers and try to trim off as close as I can now um, you don't need to worry too much about waste I feel like it's it's worth it because it's such a job to get this done to not worry about wasting a little bit of meat on like that right there just forget it <laughs> whenever I get a piece that's pretty well trimmed up of, with the sinew off and the fat off then I need to cut it into sections that will go down into the hole of my grinder uh, you can go like this actually make long sections and it works really well because it kind of catches and pulls itself down in there so this is what I'll do is make long sections now I would do this and keep going until I get a big bowl full but for the video I'm going to just do this piece right here and go show you how the grinder works the switch is on the side and toward the back and I really like this switch because it has a plastic cover on there so that you don't get um, your messy looking hands down inside there it, it protects it some and I know I've seen that there are foot mechanisms you can buy to plug in but I haven't done that I've been satisfied with this one now when I turn this on it's going to make a lot of noise so what I'm going to do is explain to you first with it off what we're going to do these pieces of meat are sitting up here and we're going to feed them one at a time down through there of course it's going to feed through the auger here and come out at the end ground up that's the way it works so we're going to turn the turn it on now Now doing it the second time you end up with really fine ground meat and some people want it that way some people want it not so fine and so you would want to do it with the larger disc and not go to the smaller one just grind it once whenever you're finished just uh, take it all apart give it a quick rinse 
in some warm water to cut the grease. And it's perfectly safe to put all of these parts in the dishwasher, get them really washed and sanitized. We've got two big bowls. These are really big bowls here, full of meat. And it's time to get it packaged up in Ziploc bags and get it into the freezer. Thanks for joining us.